we're in a little pickle. My light is out, but I think I figured it out. I tried hitting it, it didn't work, so I came underneath here and I realized that one of the plugs was disconnected. You guys see that? Disconnected, so we're gonna connect it and hopefully that does the job. This thing was just disconnected, but I need to tape it somehow because, or something. Because it's going to end up disconnecting again from all the bouncing around and stuff. But we got it connected. Oh, and I can finally drive in peace. I was really getting frustrated that it was messed up. I got to get 10 pallets here. Hola primo, esas uh, patatas son para mí? Son las 10 para Rayleigh's? Oh, son 6 o 10? Yes. 10 se da, me puede poner esas primero y luego la, esas de Shasta? Yes. Esa ya el último por favor, me las pone todas dobles. I told him to put them all doubles, but I forgot. I don't have my pallet jack because I had an accident at the yard. I'm trying to put the pallet jack inside my trailer and it fell. So it broke. I started off pretty bad this morning. I was gonna start recording, but I was just in a rush all day. So this is why I always say, don't be in a rush. This is what I meant because, so I have a single and then I made this into a double right here. That way I don't have to worry about one pallet being uneven or in the middle and they uh, tilting over or anything. Perfect. Man, I'm starving. You can tell by the title of the video, we're gonna be making some tacos today. Some tacos asada. Gracias. With some salsita, some cilantro, cebolla. So let's go pick up this other order down the street. And then we're gonna stop at a Walmart and get all our groceries that we need to make these tacos asada. All right, guys. Man, I am freaking hungry. I can already smell the carne asada. The, oh. Ready. All right, so we just pulled up to the other pickup, and that Kenworth is beautiful. I have been loving Kenworths. They're so nice. Sometimes I think they're a little nicer than Peterbilt's, but then I slap myself back into reality and realize that Peterbilt is the way to go. they told me it's gonna be a couple hours until I get unloaded so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna actually just order some carne asada but I want to make sure yeah there it is carne asada right there damn 1840 per package screw it let's get it get some carne asada we need some tortillas and I need to get a salsa too okay perfect I got the tortillas right here Trying to see if they have the yellow ones, but they don't have them. Let's see if they have the other ones, like the super yellow. Oh, perfect! Street taco ones. Heck yeah. Let's go to the produce. Bam. Some cilantro. 
And the salsa white one is some jalapenos. Put salsa, see what pops up. Cantina salsa. Screw it, we'll get that. We'll do a little cebollita right there too. I love these. I got the carne asada, the, me, the yellow tortillas, the cilantro, the jalapenos, the cebolla, la, la salsa, and the onion, the spring onion. $38, not too bad. But we got everything we need right here. Now, let's order it. Continue. Place order. Everything I need right here. Hopefully the store has everything I need so I can make these carne asada tacos. Wait, it says it's supposed to be here between 6.42 and 6.57 p.m. 6 o'clock, so let's hope. But for now, I'm just gonna relax and wait. Watch a podcast. Let's get the table out. Okay, that, that's fine. I'm I'm right here at this pack and I was just kind of taking a long time anyway, so you're fine. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Sounds good. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, no problem. Bye. Bye. Lady who said that she was having a hard time with reception, so she couldn't get my order in, but she says she's going to do it now, so back on track. Sorry, it's me again. It's okay. Um, so for your for your Randall season beef, beef flat meat, they don't have any at all. And then um, your your substitute, which is the Randall beef adobo pack, they don't have beef, but they only have the pork, like the cut of pork and adobo. Uh huh. Little pack. That's all they have. They have they have no meat at all. Not like the, not that not that brand of beef. No, they don't have that kind. Do they have a different do they have a different brand of beef? Let me see, let me see, let me see. One that's marinated or just like Uh no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be marinated. They have they have one here that's marinated that has beef flat meat, like the one you wanted. Yeah. But, uh, this one's from uh this one's twelve this one's twelve thirty. There's one that's I I'll get I'll get that one. That one's fine. You want one of these? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, then. I'll take one of these. And it's already marinated and everything. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, thank awesome. you. Thank God, we're still in the clear. I was getting, like, anxiety just thinking about it because I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, what if they don't have the stuff that I want? That's why I wanted to go to Carnesteria and go and get myself the stuff that I want. Because I have a Carnesteria that I get from my local store, from my local town right here. Delicious meat. Pause. I love eating that meat. Pause again. Damn. I love eating it. Oh shit, it just doesn't sound any better, huh? Like you guys get what I mean. Sometimes as a truck driver, you can't just do what you want and you gotta, you gotta work your way around it. So this is true life right here. So I'm showing you guys that not everything always goes as planned. All right guys, we got a little update. The Dasher is on the way and they should be here between 7.29 and 7.35. So they're a little behind, but there was a lot of problems, but it's all good, we're in no rush. I'm still in this damn door can't tell the truck is moving that means we're getting loaded so let's go make sure that they're gonna load me right and they take out the pallet that I needed them or else I'm be all behind 
Yeah. You guys able to take off that pallet or no? No, I'm gonna yeah. take it right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. You gonna take it off right now? How many pallets? Oh, you guys only put two in, huh? So far, barely right now. It's oh, okay. Two. All right, perfect. Like I was telling you earlier, it's nothing but partials. There's small ones? Uh, no, he's building it up from scratch. Oh, okay. All right, All no, that's fine. Yeah, just so because I have to take that. That yeah, one no, gets delivered I first. Told him again, but I'm gonna tell him again right now. Okay, sounds good. Oh man. All right, so it's a good thing I came and told them because if not, that could have been all bad. DoorDash driver had a little issue with the security letting her through. I guess for liability reasons, they don't want her to get hurt, get hit by a truck, which makes sense. So now I gotta walk and pick it up. Thank Sorry you, bro. That. It's all good, man. No yeah, worries. I usually I let him in, but that truck caught fire. I'm not sure if you know. Yeah, no, I, I haven't. I haven't seen. Yeah, yeah, he caught fire, so that's why I couldn't let her into. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no worries. So secured the bag. I'm running super behind on time. It's already gonna be eight. I gotta go back to the yard, fuel up, and then head up towards Sacramento today. And I just don't wanna be running late. Maybe once I get to the location of where I'm gonna go to in Sacramento, I will cook. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to cook today, uh, right now. It's all good. I'm gonna be able to camp out in the truck, on the lot, relax, watch some movies, play some games. And most importantly, eat some tacos. But for now, I will starve. <sighs> All right, guys. So um, this is one of the parts that I hate <laughs> about being a truck driver, waiting time and stuff like that. Um, it's so unpredictable and you really don't know how long something's going to take. There's times where I'll be here for like 10 hours, honestly, during the summer. It's pretty bad. If you're thinking about getting into this industry, specifically produce and reefer, just make sure you have a lot of patience because this will test your patience and you'll realize whether this job is for you or not. All right, so I do have an uneven pallet and I don't have a load lock in the front right here. So I have to drive super freaking careful. So I'm not gonna worry about the camera right now. I don't even think I'm gonna record. I'm just gonna relax, drive careful, drive slow. And we're gonna head off to the yard. Man, California is so unpredictable with this dang weather. It's literally raining so hard right now. I didn't realize how ugly it was until I was kind of just driving and I was like, wait, why is it raining this hard right now? Tres paletas de naranja para grub. Ahí tengo un pallet jack ahí, aquí en la esquina. Okay. Sí. ¿Te lo ofrece bien a ver? Ah, ya, como quiera. ¿De arriba ese? Ah, um, el de abajo, yo pienso. Yo pienso que usted se queda con el este y yo me quedo con este. ¿Puedo bajar esto para que no me sorbe, por favor? It disconnected again. Do it. I've never been to this place in Sacramento either, so it's gonna be a brand new delivery for me. Perfect. Let's get these pallets off my truck. All right guys, so we made it to Sacramento. Now I just gotta find this dang place. I don't Come on, buddy. In a quarter mile, turn left. Yeah, I have. I have been here before. I was like, this looks familiar. I'm, I, the only reason I remember is because there was a... Um, Arrived. A Buffalo Wild Wings and Olive Garden all the way across and then you got to check in over here. I, I remember this place. Hi. I was uh, checking in. Alright, now that we finally got some parking, let's get to cooking because I have not ate since earlier. Tacos for breakfast? Why not? Much. 
I just about like that much. Now, let's get the cebolla. Oh, my eyes. Perfect. Un jalapeño aquí arriba. The cebolla right there. I have this door open and both of these windows down. That way it doesn't smell in here. What about making carne asada is that um, it cooks so quick because it's not super thick. The only thing with this one is that it is a little on the thicker side. So I was hoping that the one that I was gonna get originally, it was super thin. So it probably would have already been done by now, so. But I mean, it's it smells freaking delicious, man. Ahora para las tortillas. Almost ready, boys. I'm just gonna wipe this table down, put it away, and we're gonna eat. All right, guys, so we got the tacos right here. Got my little soda, Coke Zero, no sugar. We got the, oh, the salsita. Gotta put some salsa on it. We got the jalapeno right here. La cebollita. Mm. We eat everything over here, baby. No gastamos nada. Let's try el taquito. 
This is my first time ever having tacos for breakfast. That is freaking delicious. I also get this big old piece of carne asada right here. Mmm. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's try to get this video to 5,000 likes. Still waiting for a damn door. We're gonna see how long this takes. But in the meanwhile, we're going to enjoy these tacos, watch some TV, relax. And thank you guys for watching today's video. I appreciate you guys. Sorry for not posting one on Sunday. Um, I was on a little vacation with my family. But we're back. And I'll see you guys back on Thursday. Thursday's going to be a special one, I hope. I mean, Sunday's going to be a special one, I hope. We're going to go back to where it all started. So I'll see you guys then.